Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 7, and we're going up against an alliance called Agents of Stark. Now, we have been on a winning streak. We've won our first six wars of the season, and we are now in a tier 2 war. So the fights have gotten much more difficult. All right, so I scouted out my path and I'm looking in here and I'm like, boy, they're already starting off. Hyperion, I hate fighting him because sometimes he just doesn't want to throw his special. And so when you're fighting Hyperion in war, you've got to be prepared for that. Now, I want you to notice that there is a different defense tactic chosen. Now, in my previous wars, you'll hear me say, of course, they chose stubborn because who else you know, what else are they going to choose? But this alliance actually chose a different defense tactic. So I was looking at this and I was actually surprised. I should have checked this before I went in, but I'm like, whoa, is this going to cause me some grief here? All right. So I now had to start thinking a little bit differently on how to deal with this global and whether it would mess me up going in here with Nick Fury. And the reason that I like going in with Nick Fury is because if he does not throw his special until he gets to a special three, then Nick Fury can at least survive one of them, possibly two. Uh, if you do not have a Nick Fury, uh, I would recommend a power control champion going up against him. And if you don't have any of that, then just be prepared to eat a special three if you can get one of the invulnerability boosts in the store, then you're good. If you play it, you know, well and you don't get hit, you can tank three special threes, but you can't get hit. All right. So I'm going in here. Uh, live model decoy is out. I'm not gaining power normally. Every time they fire off a special, I lose my power, which is fine because I run suicides and I'm not trying to fire off tons of specials. Uh, fortunately, I do a lot of damage with Nick Fury. And you see how I tried to interrupt his heavy? And he actually um, fired his special two off. Uh, that's why if I let him finish out his heavy, he would have gone right to a special three. But interrupting the heavy like that with just one little hit gave me a chance to bait it out. So we're doing good here. I won't have to tank, you know, two or three special threes. And so I'm like, okay, can we make this? He was very obliging and he fired off his specials. So I'm like, okay, I like this. It's going pretty well so far, um, but it's it's a tough war, it's a very tough war. All right, so I got through that guy, um, and the next one I'm gonna have to fight is Magic. So I was, when I scouted out, I'm thinking, okay, who do I have that's gonna deal with this Magic? I could bring in Blade, you know, and I'm just thinking of all kind of people. Um, AQ is down right now, so I could have brought in, say, Havoc. He has high energy resistance. Deal with that limbo. Um, I could fight her uh, with a variety of people, honestly. But I decided to go in with my boy, Nick Fury. All right. And why I do that is because back in the day when we didn't have good counters for magic, this is how I had to fight her. Okay, so watch what I do. All right, see, she's almost at one bar. You notice how I'm not attacking her? And then I pushed her over just a little bit. That's how you can fight her, okay? And see right there, she got limbo. So all of the damage that she's doing to me right now, plus she doesn't get the damage done uh, with my bleeds. So what I'm trying to do is put the bleeds on her and then just wait and don't want to fire off and we we took some damage but not as much as we normally would have so what you do is you push her almost to a bar of power and if you have someone like nick fury she's bleeding you want to let those bleeds do their work then push her over parry push her over there's actually a mastery i think it's pacify or something like that um that will reduce her chance to proc a limbo when she is stunned all right but I don't have that uh, mastery chosen, but we took a little bit of damage 
not that much. So just playing around her limbo, and we did get lucky, she didn't fire limbo every single time, uh, will do the trick. And I knew I still had the real Nick Fury, so I still had a buffer. All right. Um, so next up, we've got Sabretooth. And I'm not too worried about fighting Sabretooth, but I'm still not really familiar with this defense tactic global. All right. So I'm thinking, all right, who do I want to use? If you have a large and extra large champions, they do well with that defense tactic. And I'm looking over there. My Warlock is extra large and my Omega Red is large. And I believe the attack tactic is when they get all of those charges on them, you can knock them down with a large or an extra large uh, champion and it'll remove all of them. Okay, so if you're fighting someone who is extra large or large with that defense tactic, you wanna fight with someone large or extra large against them. All right, so I'm going in here and everything is looking okay. Uh, one of the things that I had to worry about with Sabretooth that I was concerned with is all that regen. But with Warlock, he can uh, stop all that. So wasn't too worried. Okay, we got smacked up a little bit, but here we are. We've got that infection. I also have to remember the node. So the more specials that I can fire off, uh, the better. But I think I didn't read it quite well enough because uh, even though my strike counter, um, I only have one at zero, I'm completely suppressed at this point. So I was missing something uh, in that node because normally if I fire off a special, that special one that I fired off, reset and I should be good, all right? But it's okay. Um, I wasn't, you know, obviously wasn't paying quite attention, but when I went into this fight, I already knew that I wasn't gonna fire a lot of specials. So Warlock, as you can see, he got him down doesn't need to fire off a lot of specials to be very good. All right, so we got Sabretooth down. All right, next up, uh, I was not as worried about this next fight uh, as I was about uh, the Hyperion and, and the Sasquatch, but he's actually pretty tricky, okay? Black Panther is actually pretty tricky. When I saw him, and I remembered that AQ was down, I actually thought about bringing in Corvus. Uh, and if you don't know, Black Panther, when he has um, armor ups and he has that reflective uh, armor or whatever buff up, uh, you can't parry him, but Corvus can. Corvus can parry him, and uh, so I don't have to worry about it. And if he gets a lot of armor ups, then all of them get armor broken and he takes more damage. So Corvus is a great counter for this guy, but I decided not to bring in Corvus. And instead, you know, I'm gonna fight this guy with uh, one of the guys I brought in. Now that sting, stung once, twice shy, something or other, I hate that with a passion because my tendency when I get a special, you know, with some of the champions is to fire it off. Now on this node, I'm already gonna get suppression. So this is why it's a good placement. I would want to normally fire off a special attack to reset the charges. But like right now, I can't fire the special off without taking damage. And then I accidentally fired off and, and parry. So I'm just like, oh man, I need to really pay attention. Uh, I'm, I'm At this point, I'm very tired because I had been grinding for Red Goblin. I got him, by the way. And I did not get a lot of sleep. So I'm a bit tired when I'm doing this fight. And that woke me up. And I'm like, okay. So you see he has all these armor ups. You don't want to parry him at this point. And you can see I'm just blocking most of it, baiting out heavies and trying to bait out specials. So his special two is very easy. And I'm wary about doing that, you know, trying to bait it out. Because sometimes if you do it a little bit too slow, it'll read as a parry. All right, happens all the time. And so I'm like just trying to pay as much attention fighting muscle memory, do not parry him. Uh, and now I would normally fire my special two off to get 
um, my death feel active again. Can't do that. I'm at this point fully suppressed, but I can at least get 10 spores on him and just keep going in and we got him down. All right, so I'm sitting here now and I've gotten through my paths. Uh, I'm like, okay, I didn't take the section one mini and I'm looking at this wasp. Now wasp can be very tricky. Uh, she can wreck you very, very quickly. You make one mistake and the fight is over. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do that. All right. Now, I got a phone call in the middle of the last fight. And I had to stop and then restart, but I still had my boosts on. So I'm just like, okay. I hope nobody goes in there. And you see, I went there and I checked my boost to make sure I still had uh, them going from the last fight. All right, so now what I do when I'm fighting Wasp, she doesn't have a lot of health and you don't want to attack into her when her evade is off cooldown. See that uh, timer up there? So what you can do is you can bait out her heavies and her specials and they'll go into, you know, get on cooldown. So you see here, now I need to bait out her special one. I'm not gonna try to fight or evade her special two. I don't know how to do it. So uh, that's what I do. I just bait the special one or her heavy. So like right now, um, I'm just trying to do that. There we go. Now it's on cooldown and I go in. Okay, very easy to fight, but you have to pay attention and you do not wanna mess up because she will get you um, in a combo. One combo, just boom, 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 do the heavy, and it's lights out. But we were able to get her down without too much difficulty. Those nodes, no problem for Warlock. Uh, he can stop all that regen, so you don't even have to deal with that. So we've been doing pretty well, um, haven't died. And that is the last fight that I participated in for this war. I got down here. I looked over there and I saw which minis were up and I waited to hear if they needed my help. They didn't, so we didn't uh, take any minis over here. Now, we've got some guest fights. This is work in progress, newly returned to our um, alliance. Uh, he was in a master level alliance and uh, he's taking a little bit of a break uh, and just going down to a, a lower uh, alliance here. Uh, to take it a little bit easier. And so we got him here fighting against Doom with Domino. And if you ever had to fight against Domino, you know she is a beast. Okay. And ooh, he got caught right there. It happens. Especially uh, that unblockable. All you have to do is be a little bit slow. And that's it. Uh, and he is basically doing a parry heavy and letting the incinerates uh, do the work. And he's probably going to uh, fire off that special two, which is also devastating, um, especially if they're unlucky. All right. Let's see. Yep. There you go. Just look at this. Boom. Boom. Critical bleed. Look at the bleed damage um, that Domino is doing. So you've got the incinerates. You've got that crazy bleed damage. And I see he's avoiding the special two. The special two can be evaded, but it's much more difficult to evade than the special one to me. Um, I have no problem, even though I still get clipped by the special one at times, uh, no problem evading the special one most of the time. But that special two, uh, more than likely, it gets me. Um, at least some of it. You know, I might get, you know, evade the first two parts of it, and then get clipped on the third part. But he's doing good, all right? Um, I don't remember what the nodes are for this, but I'm looking at that uh, one, and I remember uh, the node where you couldn't do two consecutive, yeah. So that was the node there. You can't do two consecutive specials or else you take a lot of damage, if I remember correctly. Um, but he got him down without any kind of difficulty. Just a little minor clip there. So now he's uh, fighting Iron Man Infinity War, who I hate. 
um, to fight against just because he takes so long. And I saw a little reparry there, work in progress. Good, good. Um, I need to learn to do that much better. See, look at that. That is a beautiful reparrying right there, man. And look at the damage that he's doing with just the incinerates. Okay. Love it. Love it, man. Um, he's just tearing them up. And then he got a, you know, crit failure. You know, I haven't watched this fight before, so uh, I'm looking at it for the first time here. All right. And he's probably going to wait. Yeah, let's see if he does it. Nope, nope. Okay, I was I was thinking that he would wait um, for the armor ups to go away and then fire off a special two to get those bleeds on him since he's bleed immune while the armor ups are up. But um, this special three, vicious. Let's see. Yeah. Because he has those armor ups, he's not going to take that bleed damage. It's very annoying uh, to fight him. Um, but he's not immune to incinerate. So if you can reparry like that right there, you have no problem in this fight. Very good. Very good work in progress. All right. So now let's find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, our winning streak has ended. These guys were tough. But we got all three of our bosses down, which is priority. No matter how difficult the fight, we need to get the boss down. And I was pretty sure when I did my um, wasp fight uh, that we weren't uh, going to win this one. Um, we, we had a lot of deaths because it, it was tough. Uh, a lot of tough uh, battles. Uh, on paths one, two, and three, things aren't quite as difficult. But in the middle and those paths to the right, they have a nightmare of a time. So um, a lot of the tougher defenders and tougher fights are saved for those paths and those nodes. Um, so first loss of the season. Hopefully it'll get a little bit easier now because we were up there at tier two. All right. Um, but as long as we can continue to get the bosses down, we shouldn't drop too much as far as the rankings go. So we may still end up with a platinum three finish, uh, but we should definitely finish in platinum four if we get all the bosses down. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.